Hello potential WPA2 enterprise users. My name is Vincent Bernal and I'm your expert for today. I will teach you how to set up a radio server and how to connect to the network via certificate. But first I will explain you shortly the difference between WPA2 enterprise and personal. So WPA2 personal is the most standard version of the two. If you try to connect with the Wi-Fi it will only ask you for a username and password. This data will be the same for every person who tries to connect with the Wi-Fi. WPA2 Enterprise is more advanced and will ask for a unique username and password. A radius server will check if this information is right and will let you get access to the Wi-Fi. With this version you will also need an access point to guide you to connect. So now let's get to the fun part. Setting up the radius server on the Windows Server 2012. But before we do that, we have to upgrade the server to a domain controller by installing Active Directory. So click on Add Roles and Features. Press Next and press Next again. Make sure you have your server selected. Now we need to add Active Directory Domain Services. Add Features and click on Next. Click next again until you can install and then wait for the time to expire. When your installation is done, you can see a blue text that says promote the server to a domain controller. Click on it. Now click on add a forest because you have none yet. Let's take radius.com as root domain name. Leave all this information untouched and only type a password and confirm it. DNS will install automatically, so press next. The NetBIOS domain is already filled in for us, so just press next. The paths are correct, so press next. And just check the review now and see if everything is correct. If so, press next and install. You will automatically be signed off and your server will restart. So just wait for your restart and log back in. Once this is done and you are logged back in, go to your web browser and type in the IP address of your access point. Just log in and you will get a screen of your access point management. Next, fold basic settings and press wireless. Change the name of your wireless network to whatever you want. I take test as example. Make sure the authentication is on WPA2 Enterprise. You will only have to change the secret to whatever you want. I just change it to radius1 as example. Now, that this is done, press apply on the bottom of the screen. Go back to your server manager and go to tools. Press active directory, users and computers. Now make sure you select your server and click on create a new OU. I name it Wi-Fi users but it's your own choice. 
You will create two users now and add it to the group radius group. Once you have done that, the next step is to add certificate services. Certificate services are electronic documents that are used to gain access to a network that is protected with WPA2 Enterprise. It contains information about users and lets him log in. This installation is similar to the AD installation. So go back to the add roles and features, press next three times and select Active Directory Certificate Services. Add the features and press next until you can install. Now wait for the installation to complete. Once the installation is done, press the blue text configure ADCS. Press next and check the certification authority. Press next until you can press configure. And after the installation, you can close all the windows except the server manager. Go to the right side of your screen until you get the three options. Press the search option. Type in MMC and go to the MMC. You will get a window now. Press file and add or remove snap-in. Now this window pops up, select certificates in the list and add them to the right column. This certificate is for a computer account and press next and then finish. Now we are going to request a new certificate. So fold the certificate folder to personal, right click in the certificate folder Press all tasks and then request new certificate. Press next, next and then check domain controller. Press enroll and it will finish immediately. Now you can close this tab but it will give you an error and says you have to save the file. Now we are going to add NPS. NPS stands for Network Policy Server and is used to manage the network access. So go to Add Roles and Features again, check Network Policy and Access Services and also DHCP Server. Add the features and press next until you can install. When, when the installation is done, click on the blue text Complete DHCP configuration. Press next, commit, and then close the screens. Go to tools and press DHCP. Right click on IP version 4 and press new scope. Press next and the name you can choose. I choose Wi-Fi scope but you can choose it by yourself. The range of your scope 
is whatever you want. Make sure the subnet mask is correct. Add the IP address of your router and press next until you can activate the scope. If you don't know what your IP address is of your router, go to your CMD and ipconfig slash all. It, you, there you see with the default gateway your router IP. Now let's configure MPS. Go to tools and press network policy server. The standard configuration needs to be changed from NAP to the radius server for wireless connections. Press configure 802.1x. Now we are going to add a radius client. In our case, it is the access point. Give it a name of choice and type the right IP address of the access point. In my case, I type in AP for access point and also the IP address. 192.168.0.20 Also enter the secret you had to choose in the beginning of this video. Press OK and Next. Choose the EAP choice and press Next. Now at the group we made. The group was called radius group in my case, so just press find now and in the list you will see radius group. Click on it and press OK. So now it appears in the list. Press OK and next until you can press finish. Press action in the top left corner and press register server in Active Directory. Then confirm it. Now run the MMC again and go back to the certificate file. Right click on the first certificate, press all tasks and then export. Press next until you can choose the file name. Press browse, type a name you want and save it in the share folder. Press next and then finish. You will get a pop-up that export was successful. If you go to your desktop, you can see the certificate in the folder. Now get on your client PC and run MMC again. Do the same again as previously. Right click on the certificate file, press all tasks and then import. Press next and import the certificate through the browse. Press next until you can finish. Now it's time to connect to the access points in the Wi-Fi. Right click on the internet icon and press open network and sharing center. Press set up a new connection. Press manually connect to a wireless network. You can now enter the network name that needs to be 
test network in my case. Security type is WPA2 Enterprise. Go to the security tab and uncheck the remember my credentials for this connection each time I logged in. Press settings now and press configure. Uncheck the box and press ok. And also check the right certificate. Check the box, connect to the servers and type in your the name of your server plus the domain name in my case it is radiusserver.radius.com press ok and ok again now you can see the test network is one of the networks you can connect with connect to the network and you will have to log in with one of the users you made before. In my case, I log in with user 1. Now, once you enter, you are connected with the Wi-Fi. Thank you for listening and I hope I've helped you.